Hello everyone, I'm Adreja. Welcome back. Today, I'm back with a quite interesting topic for you all. This is a question that a lot of people actually ask. A lot of people have confusion about. That is social media. Is it a boon or a bane for our society? Well, the meaning of boon or bane, it means the pros and cons, the advantages, disadvantages. So is social media a boon or a bane? A very debatable question. So let us discuss this today. Well, talking about social media, I don't think there is anyone present who does not know about social media. Well, what are the social media apps? Um, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, WhatsApp, Snapchat and many more. So, well, now let's talk about the pros and cons. Look, the pros and cons do not depend upon social media. It depends upon the people using them, people using the social media apps. Some people get so much indulged in these apps that they forget about other important works. It actually is a wastage of time. But a lot of people actually benefit from all of these apps. Some people grow their business. Some people share information. Um, some people become famous and turn into influencers, right? So it actually depends upon the people using these apps. If we utilize it in the right way, then it's actually a good thing for us. Now let us discuss all the advantages and disadvantages one by one. First, the advantages. Well, I would be short of words to talk about advantages. I mean, think about the system. It is, I, I think for me, it is the most unique system ever existing. Um, you are sitting in India and you can video call a friend from America and talk to her at the same time. So isn't it so fascinating? Um, go a few decades back and ask a person there. She will think it is magic because it would not have been possible then. So actually social media is magic. It is magic turned into reality. So well, there are a lot of advantages. Number one, the most important one, that is we can gain information. Like look, if we talk about us students, then social media is actually very beneficial for us. We do not always go to school, right? We do not always have our teachers at our doorstep. So with the help of the social media apps, we can actually get any sort of information. Have any doubts on a certain topic? Go to YouTube, search it. You will get thousands of videos on that topic, thousands of teachers teaching you on that topic so this is the magic of social media it is actually a blessing for us students basically during the pandemic i know how much important these social media apps were for us if these apps wouldn't have been there then our studies would have stopped completely so yes social media is very informative you can get information about literally any topic on earth on social media so the next one is entertainment i mean who doesn't use social media for entertainment it is the most entertaining thing ever existing right i have heard from my parents that to probably listen to a song they had to do so many things probably buy a cassette buy a cd or it would have been played on the tv i guess once a week so they would have to wait just to listen to that song once a week so right now with the help of all of these apps we can actually listen to any songs that we want so this is the magic of social media you can do whatever you want you can watch you can listen to whatever you want number three showing your creativity previously there weren't much scopes to show your creativity but right now if you have any hidden talent it would no longer remain hidden anymore i mean there are so many of these apps youtube right create a video on your talent and post it on youtube lots of people will appreciate it so this is the power of social media nowadays talents do not remain hidden 
you can actually show your creativity to the entire earth through these social media apps. Number four, last but not the least, that is connectivity. I mean, we can talk literally to anyone right now through social media apps. We can video call a friend and talk to them. Right now, the social media is in such another level that you can connect with a teacher from another part of the world and study right there. Right, we don't need to go to tuitions just in our area. You can actually study from any tutor from all parts of the world. You don't even need to go abroad for studies. You will get teachers from abroad teaching you. So this is the power of social media. And also, you can make new friends. All these apps, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, we make new friends, we talk to them. So connectivity has increased a lot. So with the help of social media, we stay entertained, we can show our creativity and we stay connected with our friends. So this was the brighter side of social media. Now, let us take a look at the darker side, the disadvantages. Everything that has its advantages also has its disadvantages. This is the rule of life. So what are the disadvantages of social media? Number one, it's fake news. How many times have you come across fake news? A lot of times, right? Sometimes news come on WhatsApp, like this has happened, but it has actually never happened. So that is really wrong. So let me tell you, why does this happen? Social media can be used by all the people, right? And some people use it in the wrong way, in the illegal way. So that is where these fake news spread. So the only way to avoid it is by verifying whatever you see. So whatever you see on the social media, verify it from a reliable source. That is only how we can avoid fake news. Number two is cyber crimes. Internet is huge. So a lot of illegal malpractices take place, harassing, bullying, cases of threats, and a lot of other things. So we need to avoid it. So for that, do not ever click on any links given to anything, first verify it. The only thing you can do is verification. Never click on any links, never visit any illegal sites. So don't do these things, always stay alert because internet is actually huge. You will get a lot of good things, you will get a lot of wrong things as well. So make sure you stay alert. Number three, health. Well, we know we already know how much mobile screen affects our eyes spending time in front of our mobile screens can actually cause a lot of eye problems our eyes get weak and that is that actually affects our health and another thing can happen that is we become obese obesity can also occur due to lack of movement earlier due to no other entertainment methods people used to play right but Nowadays, what happens, we don't go outside and play. We just sit with our mobiles and start scrolling. So that is actually, that causes no movement, right? We just sit and sit and sit and that can cause obesity. So social media actually affects our health. And what you can do to avoid this, do not spend so much time on social media. It is actually good, but just use it for the good purpose. Do not spend your most important time just scrolling through your phone screens, okay? The fourth one is that I said already, that is wastage of time. Our time gets wasted. I guess we all know that. But still, we spend time on social media. We spend time in front of our phone screens. Basically, for us students, this is the most important time. I've already talked about this in one of my previous videos where I discussed time management. So social media actually does not let us manage our time. It wastes a lot of time. So for this, we need to make sure that we do not get distracted by all these apps. We should actually aim for the main purpose. We should not get distracted during the most important part of our life. So these are the advantages and disadvantages of social media. 
But I guess from this we get to know that it is not actually the fault of social media, right? It is about the people who are using this. So or what can we do? Let us use social media for the good purpose. Why was it created to help us? Social media was created to help us. Let us use it for that purpose only. Let us not go and do any malpractices. Let us not let it waste our time. It depends upon you whether social media is a boon or a bane. Let us make the best out of it. So this is actually what I wanted to discuss today. I guess it is a very important topic for us all. I hope this video was helpful to you. If you have any suggestions, then please make sure to write it down in the comment box below. If you like this video, then please, please click on the like button. And if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, click on the subscribe button. That's it for today. Meet you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.